Welcome to the Performing the Commercially Useful Function Field Observation Inspector Training. DBE participation towards the established project goal is counted only if the DBE is performing a commercially useful function, or CUF. The DBE must carry out its contract responsibilities by performing, managing, and supervising the work they have been hired to perform. The regulations that govern DBE utilization and monitoring are 49 CFR 26.55, FDOT Standard Specification 7-24.5, and FDOT Compliance Manual Chapter 2. When is a CUF observation to be performed for a DBE? A CUF observation should be performed every month for the first three months that a DBE firm is active in their DBE certified area on a federally funded project. If after the first three months, the DBE has not yet performed at least 30% of the total value of their contract with the prime, then one final CUF report must be completed at the end of the project to assess the performance. This excludes truckers and professional service DBEs. They do not have to have a CUF observation conducted on them. Section 1 of the CUF monitoring report is usually completed by the RCS. If you have not received a template by your project RCS and you have to pull this form from the FDOT forms website, just fill out the basic project information to the best of your ability. Section 2 of the CUF form is the DBE identification. This section is usually filled out by the RCS, but if you must pull the form from the form's website, please at least fill out number 12, which is the DBE company name. If you receive this form as a template filled out by the RCS, you may notice that number 16, the DBE's begin date, is left blank. This occurs when the template was made before the DBE actually began work. The items that are being observed during a CUF observation are workforce, equipment, and performance. When observing the workforce, there are a couple things to note. The DBE contractors cannot share employees with non-DBE contractors. They must have a full crew with their own employees doing the work. The firm must be fully responsible for all payroll and labor compliance requirements for all employees within the control of the company. This is something that the RCS will investigate. This is not something that the inspectors will know offhand. The DBE also must supervise their daily operations. So they must have a superintendent or a foreman making sure that all of their employees are doing what they need to do. Section 3, Observation of DBE's Work, Workforce, and Equipment. This is the section that you as the inspector will be filling out during the actual observation out in the field. Number 19, Date Observed. Please put in the actual date that the observation took place. Please be wary of pre-filling out the form in anticipation of doing an observation on a certain date. Sometimes when this happens, the date is not changed when the anticipated date was not reached. And this causes the CUF report and the daily report to not match. Number 20, the observer's name. This is where you would put in your first and last name. Number 21, description of the work being performed. Be specific so the RCS can determine the work being performed actually falls under the work that the DBE is certified in. Number 22, the foreman's name and employer. This is a two-part question. Please be sure to put in both the first and last name and the foreman's employer. This is so the RCS can ensure that the DBE is actually supervising their own work. Number 23, number and type of workers. Again, this is a two-part question. Please put in the number of workers and the type of workers. This is to exclude the foreman. Please do not add the foreman into this number for number 23. This will be compared to the daily and the certified payroll. 
So these numbers need to match. N number 24, number and type of equipment and tools used. If there was no equipment used, please state none by checking the box. Again, this is another two-part question. Please write the number and the type of equipment or tools. Number 25, workforce of the DBE. Please indicate if the DBEs have uniforms. If they do not have uniforms, please put false and check no uniforms. If you just check false and you do not check the no uniforms box, the RCS will wonder and will come back to you for clarification if the DBEs were using somebody else's uniforms. So we wanna make sure that if there's a false answer, that there's always clarification. Number 25B, only workers or the foreman from the DB company are performing the work. Check true or false. Number 25C, the DBE appears to control and supervise their own work. Check true or false. Again, for any false answers, please clarify in number 27. If you have no comments, please mark NA. When observing the equipment use, there are a couple things to keep in mind. The operation of the equipment must be subject to the full control of the DBE, and they are expected to provide the operator for the equipment. This excludes any specialized equipment. If the equipment is used by the DBE, does it belong to another contractor? And is there a lease agreement for that contracted equipment? This is something that you as the inspector will not know, but according to your answers on the CUF observation, the RCS may wish to further investigate. Also, the equipment must have the signs or any markings that identify the DBE. They should not have any other company's name on the equipment. 26. Equipment of the DBE. True or false? Name is painted or a permanent decal. If the answer is false, please be sure to check either no name on any or no name on some. 26B. Name on equipment is DBE company's name, box 12. Box 12 is referring to number 12 in section 2 of the form, which lists the DBE company's name. 26. C. DBE appears to be using their own equipment. For any false answers, again, please be sure to write any comments for clarification in number 27. Timely submittal. Timely submittal is key in the event corrections are needed. In the event that any clarifications are needed for the answers given on the CUF observation report, the RCS will be reaching out to the inspection staff to get clarifications on those answers. Clarifications may also be needed on the information that was listed on the daily work report. That is why it is extremely important to turn these CUF observations in as soon as they are completed. If they are completed but not turned in for several months, it can be difficult for the inspection staff to remember the details that need clarification. Section four, DBE administrative review. This section will be completed by the project RCS when reviewed against the daily work report, the certified weekly payroll, sublet and EOC documents. This section is an overview of all the documents that the RCS must compile together in a complete cuff package before submittal to the district office for approval. All of the documents listed here have to match with all the information this is how we determine, as the RCS, if the DBE has performed a commercially useful function. And this concludes the commercially useful function field observation inspector training.